I'm joined here with Biggles Wage United Red Women's coach Luke Malloy. season of having two ladies team at the club and you've reached a final with the Reds how good does that feel? Uh, it's incredible to be honest it was none of us expected us to get to a final especially not the county cup final which is probably the prestige one out of all of them so it's a it's good I, I speak for everyone I think we're all lost for words to be honest it's a great achievement. What is it about the county cup that is so special? Oh, I think it's quite, it's bragging rights, isn't it, really? I think being the best local team in your area, which is, is special. Absolutely. And what sort of mentality will be required for this game? I know we've had quite a few big occasions and the mentality maybe hasn't been up to scratch. What will you do to help the girls be on it? Well, the mentality has, has definitely got to be up there again. Um, this season, we've always seemed to fall a little bit short when it's come to it. But I believe the experiences that we've had in the past will make us stronger. So, as I said, you, can, you, only, you learn more from losing than you do from winning. So, on this occasion, I honestly believe with the right mentality and the right belief, we've got a great chance of um, being successful in this cup final. And as a coach yourself, what are you going to do to make sure that the mentality is up there? Are you going to do anything different as you would for any other game or are you just going to keep it the same? It's, it probably is a bit different, to be honest, because after the semi-final performance, yeah, that game into reasons why we're not in, we, we got through to the final. Um, on the day, we still didn't do enough to actually win it on the day. Mm -hmm. So we're going into the final now as well, as underdogs anyway, but there's no expectations. We're in the final and it's one or going to enjoy it now. We're, we're lucky to get another chance to be in the final. Yeah. So go and express ourselves. The sort of mentality should be, there should be no pressure on us. There should be no nerves. It should be a total game to go really enjoy ourselves. And I think we can express ourselves by keep, just keep feeding that to the players and let them believe it. Because yeah. us coaches do believe that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And obviously, again, as a coach yourself, how do you think the game could go? I know you said you're an underdog. Do you think there could potentially be the underdog winning it? 100%. We're not. We're not. See, we're playing Bedford, who are the holding County Cup champions, and have won it five or six times now. I think I believe. So, their experience alone is going to be a massive advantage to them. But as everyone knows in cup football, anything can happen. Absolutely. And and as I said, if we go back to our mentality and we believe and play with the freedom that we should do in this final, why not? If you can't believe you can't win the cup, then you shouldn't be in it. So let's go on that day and give it all up, give it our best and then we'll see what happens. Absolutely. And just um, touching up on more about the competition, how big could this be for the club, you know, with a women's team winning something like the County Cup for the girls who are hoping to, you know, come up and play football for the Reds hopefully one day. How big of a moment would this be? Oh, it's huge. Winning it is a, is a dream. But... but being in the final is a special thing. I don't think we should take away. Winning is an extra bonus. But being in the final in our first ever season of a county cup, to me, we're winners already. But the, the final, I said, lifting that cup, oh, well, especially for a person like Jodie Malloy, our captain of our team, who drives us forward all the time. She deserves it, especially for herself. Oh, I love that. And just one kind of, uh, final quick question. Imagine you do win it. What are the celebrations going to be like? I'm assuming they'll be <laughs> I don't know if I'd have to say that. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a big no, it's, it, it, if we win it, it's just, oh, it's, it'll be huge. It'll be huge. It's, uh, for every single player, doesn't matter if you're the Reds, Blues, or even the under 12s, under 13 girls of the club, to see what they can achieve with hard work, determination, and believing in yourselves, believing in what your team and your club philosophy is. And what you can achieve if you do that. There's no one bigger than the club. Everyone's got to be on the same page and fight for each other. And if they do that, dreams can happen. Absolutely. It seems like you're in quite a good mentality for it as well, which will definitely pay off with the girls, I'm hoping. I hope so as well. Okay. But definitely, I say we're going to go for it. That's all we can do. 
Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you for that. It was just a quick short one just to get your thoughts ahead of the final in a few weeks time. Um, thank you all for watching and good luck for the final, Luke. Thank you very much. I'm sure I'll see you there. <laughs> see you there.